Batman! Woo! Hi guys. Uh, it is Friday. Happy Friday. We've got some things to celebrate. You've gotten through your first week. I know it's getting tough. We're getting to that point in the year where we're actually getting some new content. We're getting some stuff where school's starting to get a little harder because you know what? You're in sixth grade now, which means we're going to set the bar all the way up here. And I promise you, you're going to reach those goals. Okay. I've been very impressed with how you've worked uh, with that freedom I've given you of sitting in the comfy seats and giving you goals, but you are kind of managing it on your own. Keep that up. I have been very impressed with your work ethic. Okay, And I've also been impressed with, there have been a lot of you that have come across questions and you try and you try and you try to answer those questions first. Then when you get stuck and you've tried five, six times, you've read it through multiple times, then you ask for help. That is the best time to ask for help. If you have tried so many times and you are sure that you are stuck, I am more than happy to jump in and help you out. Now, if you've looked at it once and you haven't even bothered to go back and look at the question that it's asking you, that's when you probably shouldn't ask for help yet. Okay? But I've been very impressed. Those of you who have asked me for help this week, you are asking me at the appropriate time. When you are you 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 aren't quite sure of the answer and you've worked through it and worked through it and you're just stuck, that is when it's the best time to answer that. Okay? So keep it up. I know it's getting tough. I know because I've started to see you guys get a little antsier sometimes in class because it's hard. And when it gets hard, sometimes we want to shut down and sometimes we want to, you know, go to the bathroom or go to the locker because, you know, if we get out of class, it gets us away from our work. But you know what? That only solves the problem for a minute or two. And then you got to come right back to it. Instead, we're going to buckle down and we are going to do some amazing work this year. And you are doing a rock star job. And I just wanted to say thank you for that. Take a minute. Pat yourself on the back. Pat yourself on the back for the awesome job you're doing so far. Next week, we're going to continue to crank these assignments out. We're going to continue our discussion of should exotic animals be owned as pets. Next week, you're going to read one more, one more section, one more passage. And then after that, you're going to start forming your own opinions. And you're going to be making your own claims about that topic and coming up with your own evidence to support which side of the argument you fall on. Now, a couple of real quick announcements next Friday is when book orders are due. If you are interested, you can go online and order, or you can bring in money for the book orders to order books. Okay. Uh, other announcements, uh, you've got three assignments. And I know, like I've been saying, you've been working really hard, and I know it's hard to keep track sometimes of those three assignments. So on the backboard, there's a to-do list for you. There are three assignments. Number one, you have the Exotic Animals Shouldn't Be Owned as Pets article that you hand wrote on paper. You do not have to type that one again. Just turn in the paper copy and you're good. Number two, you have a, an assignment in there that is a um, Exotic Animals Should Be Owned as Pets. That one you're typing. Okay, so the first one's paper. Second one you're typing out on Google Docs. The third thing is your animal story. Now, you are determining if you have homework tonight. If you did not finish one of those three things in class today, that becomes your homework. Okay, this is a long announcement. It's probably the longest one I've done yet so far, but I just wanted to take that time to tell you what a great job you guys are. I am so proud to be your teacher, and I want to continue to push you. It's going to continue to be hard. That's just part of life. That's just part of being a student is you've got to tackle tough challenges. But the thing is, is I'm right there along with you. I'm going to walk with you, help you get to that, that goal. And just know that if I don't give you the answer you're looking for, if I don't give you that extra support, you know what? That probably means I think you got a little bit more left in you to give. Okay? I'm going to continue to set the bar high. I'm going to continue to expect your very absolute best. But you know what? I'm going to help you along the way, and we are going to rock it out. Until next time, book it forward and be awesome! Woo!